News in China, Russian President Vladimir Putin has arrived in Beijing for his first overseas visit of his new term, highlighting the importance of the relationship to Moscow following its invasion of Ukraine. Meeting Chinese President Xi, Putin praised his counterpart, even referring to China as Russia's main partner. Let's take a look at this report. As the Russian president arrived in Beijing early on Thursday, the world's focus suddenly shifted to China. As two of the world's most powerful leaders met in China for the second time in just over six months. The bonhomie was apparent as Putin lavished praise on Xi Jinping, referring to China as Russia's main partner. Ever since Russia invaded Ukraine, the West has put it under numerous sanctions. China has stepped in to support Russia and established itself as the senior partner. Trade between the two countries has reached a quarter of a trillion dollars, which for reference is almost twice as high as trade between China and India. There are also uh, huge uh, projects, infrastructure projects, investment projects, worth hundreds of billions of dollars between China and Russia, cooperation in military sphere and social sphere. Uh, in culture, uh, as well as energy uh, and the peaceful atom, the development of nuclear energy. So certainly a very rich program. Xi Jinping has vowed to consolidate the relationship, echoing the commitment to the no limits relationship Russia and China signed in 2022, just before the Russian invasion began. While its neighbor consolidates ties with Russia, India would be looking closely. Experts say that India's foreign policy options have been shaped by China-Russia ties for decades. Owing to Russia's growing political, economic and military dependence on China, Russia may be unwilling to put pressure on Beijing during India-China border confrontations. The growing Sino-Russian ties can present difficult dilemmas for India. Putin will be in China till Friday and India, with the rest of the world, will be keeping a close eye. With Vishal Vivek, Bureau Report, NDTV.